Thank you all. Uh, welcome to Mindera. English is not my strongest language, neither Portuguese, because language are not my strongest thing. I'm going to try to do this talk in English. I don't prepare in English. If you have something that you want to say me or to translate, please tell me, okay? I am Fernando Ferreira, front-end developer at Mindera. This talk is going to be about React. It's a React tradition. We, we're going to talk about React, nothing on... We don't talk about project or problems on the real world. This is an introduction for you to go to home and try this. Um, all the examples that I use is from React, uh, React documentation or the boilerplates are from React community. You can use um, whatever you like. It's only one common and okay. Um, only to understand something on the audition. Um, who is studying right now? Can raise, yeah, okay. Who is working and work on the dev uh, environment? Okay. Uh, Front-end developers? React developers? Okay, for React developers, this talk is nothing too much because it is an introduction, okay? For the other ones, uh, I think it's good to to learn something new. Um, uh, we're going to talk about what is React, uh, some things about React like components, props, and state. JSX is, is in HTML. It's weird. It's a topic about uh, JSX. Uh, event handling, React lifecycle, some good tools, and building our React uh, apps. Maybe some questions. Um, this is like the introductory part of the React documentation, and you can see it's, it's almost the same. Okay, my career, I study on Faculdade de Ciencias here in Porto. Um, then I start w in full stack with PHP, Laravel. Then I start work with uh, React, and I'm here one year and so uh, at Mindera. Um, I love board games, virtual games, I play bass on the band. And I'm trying to do beer. I think it's going. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is. This was a React uh, website, but they block the iframe with a new <laughs> website. Uh, but okay. What is React? React is a library to create user interfaces. Okay. Uh, was created by Jordan Walk. And now it's do by the community, the Facebook. Um, like Facebook is trying to, it, this is a need for Facebook. It's why React is um, always uh, evolution because uh, Facebook needs React and the, all the apps from Facebook use it. Um, this is not MVC, it's only a view for the view of the interface, okay? If you want to use something to um, to do the other things, you have to install libraries or shoes. This is a good thing for me because I don't have the florist when I want a tree. Okay, I want a tree, I have the tree and I have more tree, I, get, I can put more, that I like. Um, this is for user interfaces, but I can show you that React have some, some variants. These React Native and React VR are the official, the official ones. But you can do your, your React uh, version and we're going to see what is the idea and why you can create this. Okay, about React. React, not usually the, f the frameworks and so on use like this. Hop, control the DOM and the DOM send things to the app. In React <laughs> it's a little bit different because there is a, a representation of the DOM called virtual, React Virtual DOM. And this is very, very fast to change. And what Reacts do is the app React create a new virtual DOM. Every, every update cre create all the app virtual DOM, okay? And then you only change the DOM where the virtual DOM changes. This is very good because this, I think it's 1,000, 100 and, ah, I don't know. Same meal. <laughs> uh, Nosh per second, okay? And the DOM is really, really slower, okay? Um, 
you can see how React can manipulate these calls, uh, I, yeah, reconciliation, and this is how React know that they have to uh, change something. Um, there is some ways that you, we, we can tell to React tool doesn't update these or these, and this, this raw can, can, can represent that, but we're gonna see later, okay? The basic example of a component is this, okay? We have one component here. The component is here. This is the element of the component, okay? But you can see that this component is gonna render a div. The render is the method that is required on, on each component of React. You can, you can think about this is the representation of this component, right? Mm -hmm. It's a div. I, I, I don't... I, I don't go to inspect this, but it's a, a div. And this is JSG, and I'm gonna tell a little bit more about this. Uh, yeah, this is the, the component. We can change a lot. You can do this, and the component change. One of the good things about React is React is declarative. I'm gonna talk about props and states, but the declarative means <laughs> that um, we only change things by what we receive, okay? And this is good for uh, don't change when data change whatever we don't know, okay? I don't know if I spell this right, but we're gonna see this later. And the props, we have three types of components in React. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. But in React, we have props, and you can think about props like an argument of a function. If you think about a component, is a function, the prop is an argument. And the, the prop should be pure on the component. The, the component can change the props because the father passed the props to the children, all right? And this should be pure. The props and the state, I'm gonna talk later, but the prop, uh, the, the, the component should always have the same return for the same props and state, okay? This is good for implementation because the bugs are less because we know that nothing changed that we not expected. Um, we, you can see here that this is the same component that you, I use, and if I want to paste to pass some component, I can do this, my name, and I can do this. Yeah, and I have. You can see this is like a function and I send you an argument and the argument is used here, and hello for not this render, okay? Then we have state, uh, please, yeah. We have state th that is different from props because state is like the context of the component, lives inside the component. The component should initi initially lies the state and decide how to change the state, okay? Um, to change the state, we can use a method called setState and we're gonna see now an example. Um, you can see the constructor that I'm initial and initialized a state with value one. This is nothing very useful because yeah, I, I have here a state and trying to use here, right? The state is one, but this can be more useful if this go, okay. When I have something that change my state. What I'm doing here is trying to, okay, I want the preview state plus one. And if I click here, because it's an event handler that we're gonna talk later, it's gonna do this, okay? Um, like, we don't pass the value for the children. We control the value and we are saying that we're gonna add one value and show the value, okay? Okay, JSX. That is sheesh. One of the things that I hear on the talks that I saw and on the community is people don't like React because of the, the, this JSX thing. And I'm gonna show uh, an example. Because when you see this, people understand that, oh, it's, this is HTML inside the uh, JS. Yeah, I don't like this. But this is not uh, an HTML. Have the same representation, okay, but is this. What, what you can see, if I create a div with a prop name, this is what Babel is transpiling to JS. And 
and you can see here a good example that is very useful to, to use JTSG because in here you have a little component that is okay when you can see the name of the component, the prop and the children uh, but then uh, it is, is the div one but then you have a component that do a lot of things and the children's is gonna, I can do the, the three example, you have like all these to write. And this is less code, it's like only one example. But when you have a lot of components inside of components with props, I think it's very difficult to, <laughs> to, to create something like this. But you can use, if you don't like this syntax, you can use this. I think it's a pain, but okay. Uh, okay, like I say, it's a syntax extension for JavaScript, like tag elements that render React elements. The difference is that, oh, sorry. You can see here, this is a component, but this is not a component. This is already a, an element. There is, we are creating an element with like a blueprint There is a component, okay? I'm gonna move forward, okay. Uh, like I say, it's very verbose to, to write like that. Okay, handling events. You already saw in the previous example, there is a, a click one. In, in React, is very similar to normal HTML and the DOM. The difference is camel case and is, a, is not a string, is a function. I, I have an example here. You can see like a button, this is JSV, it's not HTML, don't forget. There's a button, have one click that have some function and the children. Um, this is gonna be rendered like only a button because the handle is gonna, is gonna do, is not render the function on the on-click uh, tag, okay? Um, okay, you can use, there is a lot of events. Something that React does is he is, is, is create a synthetic event and wrap the, the true event to create cross compatibility on browsers. And you can see more information about this. I, all these and the apps that I'm gonna show are on my GitHub. My GitHub is not very populated. It's only with this and some college uh, things. But you can see this if you have some something. Okay, React lifecycle. I don't gonna spend so much time because the last time that I do this talk uh, I pass the limited time about this because life cycle is huge and each method is for one thing and have some some things that are unique for each I'm gonna tell you what what we have for for life cycles life cycles are are hooks that we can use to to make things when some some part of the life cycle happens okay um, others frameworks have this. I think this is very straightforward. And we have the constructor this for initializing. Component will mount is to uh, um, before render, the render, after render, after this, after the, no, uh, before uh, unmount. And this is for updates because React, what is the those if, if the prop change is not render again, is to reuse the same component and give another props and call the render again, okay? These are things that if you are interested in these, you can see because we can lo lose a lot of time um, uh, go through, the, through this. Um, there is one more in Fiverr. Fiverr, I think, was released the, the stable version two weeks ago, I think, three weeks ago. And there is another one, the, it's component will batch error or something like that is like if there is one error on your component, we have something to, to, to do if that, uh, that, that uh, appears. Um, I, I don't know the name. Did catch. Did catch, is, is, is that. But it's a try catch. So try catch, if there is an error on your component, you can do something. Um, okay, I'm gonna pass this because I have the explanation for all of this and we don't have time. Uh, okay, some good tools. Like I, I said about this, this is not, uh, it's only an introduction. You have a lot of good tools to, to create things in React. One of my favorites is React Router. The new version is very good and they try to implement some, some ideas 
that's very interesting on, on React. Uh, React Redux is a state management, is one of my favorites because you have one state for all the your app and you don't have multiple states to multiple components and like the error is more if you have multiple stars to come to to see uh, react Apple is for graphql if you don't know what is graphql please see because it's very good and give a lot of opportunities for for front-end developers to create really good apps gst is testing flow is static type I don't, I don't present to yourself the prop types from React because you can choose to, sh to, to write prop types in other things, like Flow is one of them. Uh, if you don't know, it's from React, if it's from Facebook too. Uh, React DevTools, it's uh, a dev tools you can open on your browser. React Style Guide Edition, you can create a collection of your components if, if you want to, to share or to reuse and have some documentation for that. Awesome React is like the, if you want to, to start on React, is the main GitHub that you can see because it has a lot of information with the community, the community with some examples, tutorials in everyone. And Spectacle is the, the library that I use to create this presentation. Is, this is in React too, I can show. It's not very quick to do, but yeah, for this talk, I think was was good. And Reactive Flux, it's a channel on Discord app. I don't know if you know this app, but it's a chat. You can talk with the community and so on. OK, now I think I have time to show some apps. <coughs> I have one simple app here. It's not this. <laughs> OK, I have to run. It's here. I stop all the servers because my PC is dying with all of the things. It's not here. OK. Please. OK. I do a simple React app. It's welcome to. It's a add to do thing when you have a component here, and then you click, and you have. This is a component. You can see. I'm going to show on the code, but this is only one component. You have something to close and, and, and open, and then you, you can do. I'm going to share all the, the apps that I, I have done with you because you can see some, some similarity and, uh, on both. One you don't gonna see because it's a React VR. And I have to say that I have very difficult to create React VR uh, apps because I have sick motion and if I see them, something change and I'm, I'm stuck on the ground, uh, I start making sick. I'm gonna show you <laughs> what I have done, but it's like, it's nothing, it's lo only one test here, one test on behind. One hour, I think, to start to building that, and I was two hours sick. Eh, nothing too much. <laughs> okay, this here, this, uh, this is not working, I don't know why, but I'm gonna start the, the Android app. I hope this was quick, but I have to stop everything because of the PC. Okay, it's here. I'm gonna use some something really quick. Okay. <coughs> Please. And the, uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna open the app. Okay, like I said, Re this is the app from React Native. I hope this open because sometimes when I'm sharing the screen, this stop working. I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna start again the app. Uh, hopeful this is gonna work. Morpheus Law here. Okay, oh, this is not running. <laughs> okay. It's it's normal too. But I'm gonna show you the another app that I do is this. You can see like to do app, and then when you go backwards, it's like to do app, but not really because I suffer of sick motion. Um, this is React, okay? The same API can do a lot of things because I'm gonna explain now. Because what Reacts do, 
React's normal React do is, I know that div is gonna be a div in, in, on HTML, right? If you see the, the code on, oh, it's working now. Nice. Um, please. Yeah. yeah, now it's gonna work. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can see here that I have an app that use uh, native components that is built on GS2, React Native, and it's the th same thing, okay? I can show you here. The native, is, uh, the native for EOS is here, is the same code of this, and it's native on EOS on Android. Mm -hmm. and there is some GS things that change a little bit because like you, you're gonna see here on my code. What React is doing here is created a div on HTML. But what, what you can do is create a view in other, in other native things, okay? React Native, what, what you do is like, you can import the components for React Native and when this render, this is gonna be a, a, a div, but it's gonna be a view, a native view. And then what React Native do is create these native elements and I can change, there is a driver that can change the native the native information, the native inputs. But the app is controlled by JS, but it's presented by native work, okay? And the same is for the VR. The VR you can see, I don't have experience to create native apps, neither VR apps, uh, but you can see this, this is the same thing. I import the plan, the text and so on from VR, and then I use, I have to see the API, but you can see this is equal <coughs> in both apps. You can create native apps for different uh, uh, technologies with the same API. This is very strong for us because web developers can start to do different things, not only in the websites, okay? Another thing you can, for now in React 16 is, is better because now it's better to, I want to create, I'm gonna, sh I'm not gonna change this here, I'm gonna change this here. I can, do, I don't know if you, if you uh, know music, but you can start like this. Okay, I want uh, F. And, and what you can do is prepare some, uh, some, some driver that, okay, for F, I want to play with sound. And then you can do like this. I'm gonna create the music with things. Okay, and you can go on, go on, go on. Because you are changing the way that React render the F or the D. These are, people are creating this. There is React Music, there is React to changing lights because these communicate with the protocols that work with lights and people are creating this. And because they use the useful thing that is a state and okay, don't run me on the HTML page on the DOM, change me the lights. And this can be very powerful. Okay, I'm gonna, I have time to, to see an app a little bit. You can see, it's a really, really simple app. There is a list of to-do things. And then we go, you render the image, the title and so on, and then we render the list. And the list is here. That is gonna be a placeholder if the list doesn't have anything or create a, 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 a list with things. Then we, if you see, we have some <laughs> buttons here. This is a button that is already prepared for that. And then we have a to-do that is a state that is open or closed, that renders different things. Uh, because on, I forgot to tell you this, but I'm gonna be very quick. If I, it's better be here, okay. Because on JotSG you can do a lot of things. You, when you start to, to, like you can do this, it's a div, right, in JotSG, but when you, you call the brackets, it's now, um, please, it's now, uh, it's now G, uh, an expression of GS and then, then this is gonna render two, because one plus one is two, okay? And you can do, I'm, this is not rendering, I don't know why, because some, I, maybe it's because it's too slow, but uh, I, you cannot see here, uh, really, I don't know how to change this now, but y you here have some, if I receive one pro, I'm gonna change, sorry. I'm gonna change this for here, because I cannot see. I think you cannot see me. 
okay, you can move this to here and say, okay. And you tell me this is a, um, if I have props punt name, please render me this. Or you can say, if there is a props punt name, there is a props punt name, this is gonna be rendered. But I, I, if I don't have this prop with a three R the thing, it's an exclamation here, uh, two points and the other expression is going to render this or this if this is true. Uh, you can, this is JavaScript. You can do a lot of things here, okay? And you can see one of the things that you can see the different apps have some code that is equal. Uh, I must, okay. Uh, you can see that React, React Native app is very the same. Okay, we are changing something here and, but the state is equal. Some things are equal. The render is not equal because we are rendering native and native, we have to work with the API. But if you think about this, this can be removed for here and be used on both apps. You can only change the year and use something like render is equal to uh, some render import that I have. And this is the native import. And then we can use the same body the same logic for the different renders, okay? And you can see, because this is not a to-do app, it's something showing text, that is the same idea. If you have something to do, click and so on, the logic is the same, the, the render is gonna change. Um, let's see, I think it's all for here, okay? This is very simple to start, I'm gonna, be, okay? To create the boilerplate, because I'm not talking, talking about boilerplates because boilerplates are things that I have my needs, I'm gonna have some boilerplate for me. Do you, ha do you have your needs? You're gonna change the boilerplate. Boilerplates are good to start to see, but then you're gonna have to build yours because your needs are your needs and my needs are my needs. But this is good for start because it's built by, f by the community, it's all start for you, works pretty well. And okay, you go create app and then start to change. If you want to see the code later, you're gonna see that if you do run this code, it's almost the same of my apps. I only change the, the inside, but I don't change a lot of things. To you to ski is the same command that I run, okay? Um, to, to, <coughs> to use the native, it's like that. You have a, a project prepared to create native apps for Android and iOS. And if you want to try VR, it's the same thing. The API is the same, you, have, well, you only have to study the API because the components change, because they are native, native components. Yeah, some questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>